World Mental Health Day is important because it has impacts for all of us. In my work, we focus on the mental health and well-being of emerging adults. So these are people between the ages of 18 to 25, and we're really interested in understanding how we can best support emerging adults as they make this transition during this stage of life. And this is a tough time for a lot of people. It's a time that's associated with instability, there's a lot of uncertainty about what life is going to look like from this point forward, and we're very interested in finding strategies to best support emerging adults as they navigate this developmental transition. World Mental Health Day is important to me because I know that children's lives are profoundly affected by their own mental health and by the mental health of the adults around them in their families, schools, and communities. My research is on the mental health and well-being of some of our society's most vulnerable children. Children who've been abused and neglected in their home or exposed to domestic, domestic violence, children who have a parents with a major mental health disorder or who may be involved in criminality or substance abuse. These children who've experienced multiple adversities are at risk for many negative outcomes, including problems in learning, problems in behavior, problems in emotion regulation, and problems later in life in terms of involvement with criminal activity or themselves developing a major mental health disorder. I'm concerned that our society needs to pull together and do something to support these vulnerable children. That means not only the kind of mental health services that we often think of, which is individual therapy, but also thinking about the kinds of services and supports that we can put in to schools and community centers, neighborhoods, families and communities, so that these children have the best possible chance to become resilient and to thrive.